Okay, guys, this is the last stretch. I'm just going to say it one more time. Please circulate this information. Thank you very much. Total mind control in areas of decision. You have to wonder when uh, in here in Sonoma County, you go before your uh, county board of supervisors, there are a uh, 150 plus people protesting against the designs to add fluoride to the water supply and the county board of supervisors votes five to zero to look at fluoridating the, the water supply. They didn't agree completely but they're spending over, uh, well close to $200,000 to investigate what it would cost to uh, have an infrastructure that would accommodate the fluoridation. Uh, and this is apart from all of the massive protesting that has been done here about that. So you really have to wonder uh, who is real at this point. Something very, very interesting if for those of you that watch the movie The Hunger Games. There's a little known um, uh, lyrics in that and uh, it's called Rules, R-U-L-E-S. And I would recommend everybody go and listen to those lyrics. They uh, talk about electricity and wires and uh, controlling everything you do. And I can tell you that these nanofibers are synthetic and they are phase one and we're all in it. You can go to Radio Shack and buy a little magnifying glass that has a light. There about $10, hold it up to your skin, and you will see these long opalescent strands in your skin. It is, um, it's nothing short of absolutely riveting. And we just need to know where we stand so we'll know what we need to stand for at this point and how we need to work on informing people. Uh, I want to, again, uh, emphasize the um, the source documents, they tell us everything. They talk about what we're seeing now in our schools with sex education for five-year-olds. They talk about population control, the permission to have babies. Uh, they go on into eliminating private doctors. These, these um, source documents were written in the mid-60s. And all of this was told us then. It just sounded so insane that when the government said, oh, these are just hoax, people believed it. But it's all real. I would recommend starting with the Iron Mountain Report to understand they are coming after our guns. They will, according to the Iron Mountain Report, get our guns. Make no mistake about it. They've been planning this for a very long time. And the globalists are in position, writing the legislation to come and take our guns. Very important to understand that the gun issue is uh, not going to be our salvation in the United States. People keep saying, well, if they come to get the guns, there's going to be a bloody revolution. Yeah, there would be a bloody revolution because I will tell you, the weapons that the globalists have to use against us will annihilate us. They have technologies that are a couple hundred years behind our even knowing what those technologies are. And you can go to StopTheCrime.net and take a look at that NASA war plan that was found on the NASA website that has not only the U.S. Air Force involved, DARPA, the CIA, the FBI, Southern Command, Atlantic Command, but the entire corporate agencies that are running the show globally, how they intend on utilizing new technologies that are horrific, that they say are now completely legal forms of warfare. For example, they say that they will use mechanized sized dust, which will be distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs. The dust mechanically bores into the lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. Again, they say it's a new class of weaponry, but it is legal.
They talk about how they will be uh, creating and directing a evolution. That is what transhumanism is all about. On page 66 of the NASA war plan, they say increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large, too heavy. Humans are too tender. We're too slow physically and mentally. We re require huge costs, and humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. The very next page talks about robots in the large, saves lives, enhances cost, and is um, less of an impact to the environment. Extremely important on page 93, they're going to use media as massive psychological warfare. They say on page 93, exploit CNN syndrome. CNN, uh, the news network, of course, was set up by the CIA, and they are going to exploit that. Uh, turn off your television sets. Understand that this is all preconditioning, brain manipulating, psychological disinformation and the two components of the globalist victory over us is creating uh, terror and fear and of course wars and massive disinformation don't be a victim to the misinformation understand that they are psychologically uh, creating blind sheep out of people um, they talk about on page 93 of the document that they will capture and torture Americans in living color on prime time well they're doing that already they also say terror attacks within the continental United States using binary biologicals, the takedown of critical infrastructure, the use of an EMP, which is an electromagnetic pulse, radiation frequencies against our brain. Yes, frequencies are going to be one of the main components in the new forms of, of warfare. They are fingerprintless, and uh, we don't see it, and uh, that is what's going to be used. Sadly, sadly our air has been weaponized. Uh, our air has been taken over for private uh, corporate uh, profit, and it has been hijacked by the telecom industries, the utilities with the smart meters, Wi-Fi providers, the geoengineering, which is, of course, the chemtrailing, the mega corporations and the mega banks. They are exploiting the air for private use and profit while damaging and killing all of us with amped up artificial frequencies. Of course, the deforestation plan that is underway and all of the costly treatment schemes that they tell us we need then in order to cure the problems that they are creating. In fact, it's obviously much worse than all of that. Uh, these secret programs uh, that they say we don't really see which we do we must expose you must tell everybody that you know it is time for everybody that does not yet have a chemical lobotomy to engage go on to the websites print out flyers or make your own flyers put magnetic bumper stickers on your vehicles if you're driving down the road without saying something you are silent you are saying nothing we now are the media this is the only way Way that we're going to be able to uh, allow people the opportunity to not be hit broadside with the uh, disaster that is just coming down upon us all so quickly. I know many of you feel it. It is real. It is a silent weapon, and it is being used stealthily in our midst right now. John F. Kennedy warned us within 10 days prior to his murder that we, there were covert, stealth, monolithic secret societies that were, were getting ready to conscript everything, our science, our military, our economy, our technology, every aspect of everything, and uh, that ha is now what has happened. In the source documents, you will see that uh, the Illuminati say that victory is through violence and make-believe, which is propaganda. They say that they must remain invisible until the moment their strength is reached at such a height that no matter how cunning any of us will be, uh, that we cannot undermine their plans. And I can tell you something right now. They're telling us that out of this temporary evil that they uh, will create, that they're compelled to commit, they, there will emerge a unshakable new world order. Well, if we don't want to live uh, 
in a new world order, which many of us, of course, will not uh, graduate into. We will be uh, sacrificed with all of the toxins. I can only say that you must get the word out now. Uh, everybody keeps saying there's more of us than them. Well, that's true. Sadly, the more of us are uninformed, chemically lobotomized. So while, while again, while you're able to get out there and spread the information, you must. Also, go to dataasylum.com, D-A-T-A-A-S-Y-L-U-M. Dot com. You can also find that link uh, on StopTheCrime.net under the NASA War Document Information. Link up to that to understand the details of the nanofibers that are now um, uh, creating a new human being. You will also then understand why Al Gore in his book, uh, which we attended his new uh, book review, which is called The Future, he talks about worldwide digital communications, the internet, computer revolutions have led to the emergence of the global mind, which links the thoughts and feelings of billions of people and connects intelligence, machines, robots, and and sensors and databases. He says the balance of the global political, economic, and military power has shifted more profoundly than at any other time in the last 500 years, from a U.S.-centered system to one with multiple emerging centers of power, from the nation states to private actors, and from political systems to markets. He says that Ever-increasing economic globalization has led to the emergence of what he labels Earth, Inc. So we're not only USA, Inc., which everybody can recognize by the takeover uh, of our country, of America, by all of the mega banks and mega corporations. We're now Earth, Inc., and he talks about that everything is going to be have a different relationship to capital, to labor, to consumer markets, and to national governments than in the past. Of course, the United States is being gutted, as he told us, and as we know, all of our manufacturing has, for years has stealthily been shipped offshore into China. We have nothing to support an economy. We have no way in which to uh, earn wages now that will be outside of a service-based economy. Uh, the United States is is being pillaged from within, and the bankers are getting ready to do to the United States just what we all saw that they did in Cyprus and what they've done to other European countries, Greece, etc. We're in the crosshairs, and they want to take America down. They want to gut our wealth. They want to um, stifle every single thing about us. This is an absolute forced transformation of every single thing. And the uh, Wildlands Project map, as I discussed earlier, is going to relocate all citizens within the United States to human development zones. So if you don't believe what is being said, go to the movies. Many of the movies that we're seeing now, Oblivion, uh, and um, many of the current releases are all realities. Thank you for listening today. Please educate yourself. Please do the information advisements to all of your friends and put information.